stripper and fighter in one. Audiences have gone crazy for Akon Oneless, nicknamed Jedi. He's also great in the cage where he has performed brilliantly and shown us that we have a lot to look forward to from him in the future. I was born in Jamaica, Montego Bay, and I came over here when I was just one years old, and my mum brought me over here. With, we pretty much had nothing. We had no roof over our head. I had no shoes, no clothes. I had a nappy. And uh, my mum worked three, four loads of jobs just to feed me, you know, and keep my belly full. Uh, I don't even know she was eating at the time, but props off to her. She really built a life for me and my brother came a few years later and uh, she, everything that has been given to me in my life, I always go back and thank my mum. To be the best that I can be. So every, every day I wake up, I have a goal and uh, as big as that goal is, I wake up and it scares me. So I've got to get to work. If I stop for one moment, then I'm going to be going backwards. So I need to be taking one step forward and going towards that goal. And that's what wakes me up in the morning and uh, gets me out of bed. I feel like I have quite a few different role models, like Leon Edwards in my gym. He's the best in the world in, in what we do. Also, people like my strength and conditioning coach and my brother, I just love their personality and I love what they've done in their lives, you know, the, the grit and determination they showed. And even my mum, she, she's, she's an awesome human being, the, the things that she's gone through. And uh, if I have to compare that to my life, I just think it's, my life's pretty easy. And uh, I'd have everything cushy and sweet. Image is pretty important, you know, you, you've got to have a direction, you've got to have a brand, you know, have something about yourself, what do you stand for? And, and that's, that's why I see Image, Image just being you, you being you and how you present yourself to the world. Fight mindset is pretty clear, I, I feel like I'm focused and ready every single time I get into that cage and there's only one thing on my mind is to unleash the force and destroy the opponent that's in front of me. My best moment so far would, would definitely be, you know, uh, having my last loss and bouncing back from it in such a spectacular way. Like I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the octagon now, and uh, I put, I stacked so much pressure on my shoulders to come out and not only perform in the fight, but perform before the fight and after the fight. And I feel like I went out there, I did that. And uh, that's definitely one of my proudest moments today. When it comes to my opponents, uh, I don't feel no two ways about them. It's not like a personal thing where I'm like, oh, I must hate you. To be honest, in my career, a lot of people pull out. Even in Octagon, I, I came here and I had three, four, five different pullouts. And even my next opponent, he pulled out from the first fight. It's, it's something I'm always there expecting. So I don't attach emotions to somebody. Uh, I just go out there and unleash the force. And when that cage door locks, I just know that I'm getting my hand raised. Train, training's life. Training's every day. I, I wake up and I'm chasing the master of the force. I train, training to be the best mixed martial artist that I can. And uh, hopefully one day that step takes me up to Mount Everest and takes me up to the top of the pound for pound list. My next opponent in Manchester is Jakub Banik. And I feel like he, he's a good striker. You know, he, he throws a, a lot of right hands and he likes to box. He's got a good boxing pedigree, but I don't see him as a complete fighter. Uh, I feel like he'd be very fearful on the ground and in clinch exchanges. And I feel like that would be his downfall uh, when I dominate the stand-up and he's got no other option, then you'll quickly see that the force will crush him. I expect the fight to be a fast-paced one, uh, one that I can keep up and one that I, can, I will be pressing forward. He'll be looking for ways to victory that he just can't see, so I'm looking forward to it.
Jakob Bannik, beware. A lightsaber is coming for your chin. <laughs>